Now, we are going to look at a situation where you have everything set up, but you can't pick up any image at all from, say, all your cameras. So I'm going to take a situation where there is no image from all the various cameras. After that, we'll check out a situation where there is no image from one particular camera or maybe one or more camera, but not all. So let's start with a situation where you have no image from all your cameras. So I'm going to say this. Most of our cameras are NTSC compatible. It means to say, if you bought the DVR from us without any camera and you had to use your own cameras, if your cameras are not NTSC compatible, you want to change your settings within the DVR for compatibility reasons. I'm going to show you how to access those video standard settings. Now you have to move on into the main menu. You go setting. At the top you have general here on the left hand side. And once you get there, on the right hand side you have video standard. Now where you have video standard, if your cameras are PAL compatible, you want to change the setting into PAL. If they are NTSC, you leave it as NTSC and then you click on apply. You have to do the same on your TV set. Let's say your TV set was already set on either NTSC or PAL, but your cameras are on a different mode. So let's say your cameras are PAL cameras. You have to also change your settings on your TV set. You have to go into the settings on your TV set to change it into PAL so they should match with your cameras. But if you're using just ELEC cameras, most of our cameras are NTSC compatible, so you want to keep it on NTSC, both on the DVR settings and on your TV set or whatever output unit you're using to display your images. Once you're done with that, you should pick up those images on your screen. If that doesn't bring your images, the next thing you can do is you can reset the DVR system. You can reset it to the factory default settings. Now. To access the factory default settings, you have to go into the main menu. Again, you come into the settings, then you go advanced. And once you get there on the right hand side, you click on restore. And where it says select all, you toggle it into green color, and then you click apply. You'll be prompted to restart the DVR. Once you do that, your DVR will be back to factory default settings and you should pick up images if that's where the problem was. If you still can't pick up anything from those, what you have to do is you have to check if the cameras are receiving power. The thing is, our DVRs do not supply power to the cameras. The cameras need their own power source. If you notice here, I have two power adapters. One of the power adapters is, supplies all four cameras that are connected to this DVR and the other power adapter is for the DVR. So make sure your cameras are connected to power and you should be able to pick up something. That should do for the situation where you have no image at all from all the cameras. Now say you have no image from one particular camera, or say one or more, but some other cameras are picking up images, but the particular camera can't pick up image. So this is what you have to do. At the back of your DVR, you have various channels. The channels are numbered and it will reflect what you have on the screen. So let's say the camera on this position is not picking up video. We want to check if, if the problem is with the DVR itself. So you can move that camera that is having issues into another channel that already has video on it. So you have to like swap, you have to do a swap. Once you move that camera into a position that um, initially had video, if you don't pick up anything, then for sure we know the problem is with that camera or it could be with a 60 feet long cable. And if you pick up video, we know the problem is with that channel in particular. Now, apart from that, another thing you can check is a four-way power splitter. If you have your package already, you're going to notice one power supply can split power into four different cameras. Now. This piece of cable will look somewhat like this. So the power adapter connects on this end of the splitter and that power is split into four. 
for each of your cameras. Now, if one of your cameras is not picking up video, you can disconnect the splitter from the end of the power adapter and disconnect it from all the cameras. And you have to connect the power adapter directly into the 60 feet long cable for that particular camera. Once you bypass the splitter, you should be able to pick up images if the problem was with the splitter. But if you still can pick up images, it means your splitter has no problem. It's either the 60 feet long cable or the camera itself. So that should cover the scenario where one particular camera is not picking up images. And as we previously mentioned, we've also talked about the scenario where you can pick up images from all your cameras. So I guess that should do. If you have any of these issues and you discover it's a camera or the DVR itself, feel free to reach us on eBay, Amazon, however you place your order and we can probably sort it out and send you one more camera or replace the DVR for you if that's the case. Thanks for watching. You can get back to us at any time. You can leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Thank you all.